Hello, this is Ray Snow. So this time I'm gonna explain how to make a notepad in Java. So this is the notepad that I made. So everything is written in Java. And uh, so there is a top menu here and a sub menu like this. And uh, so since this is a notepad, so you can type text. Hello, this is like Snow. Hope you like it or something and uh, so yeah you can also change like a font like this or also font size like this and uh, also color so like this mm. and also you can save uh, your text so like this my text or something and here you can create this text file and also yeah you can open other text file as well so for example this one so this star wars wikipedia so you can open this and uh, yeah you can edit this like deleting this also you can undo your action like this so yeah i think uh, it has a basic function as a notepad it's a simple application, but I think it's a good example to learn how to create these menu as uh, sub menus because a lot of applications use this kind of a uh, layout. For example, this Eclipse, this also, you know, has this top menu and also like a sub menu like this. Of course, this is much more complicated, but, uh, you know, basic layout is the same. So if you learn how to make these menus, then, uh, I think you can apply to something else as well and uh, make other stuff as well. Yeah, so let's make this from the scratch. Okay, so first let's make a project. So Java project. And name this as a whatever name you want. But uh, I'm going to name this as a simple notepad or something. And I'm sure I don't create and uh, okay from here let's make a class so first class uh, i'm gonna name this as a gui and check here and delete comment and uh, new gui and uh, uh, constructor gui Okay, and so if you have watched my uh, text adventure game creation uh, tutorials, and uh, I think you are already familiar with some of things that we're gonna do. So basically, we're gonna use Java Swing, and uh, so first we're gonna make a window. So we're gonna use this J frame, and name this as window, and import this, and. Uh, yeah, let's leave this constructor for now and uh, let's make another method here uh, public void create window okay here uh, let's initialize this jframe window equal new jframe and uh, let's add some text here like notepad or something so this is going to be displayed on the top bar of the window and the next is uh, let's set size I'm going to choose 800 and 600 by you can choose whatever number you want and uh, this is just a default size so you know you can change the size later and then window dot uh, set default close operation and uh, jframe dot exit on close so usual stuff so you need this line to close the window properly okay for now and uh, also let's call this create window from this uh, constructor create window method here and also 
let's add this line window dot set visible true okay so uh, window is done i think let's check this okay so yeah window is created so 800 600 and the notepad title is notepad and then so next we're gonna create a text area so j we're gonna use this class j text area and name this as a text area and import so i'm gonna create another method here public void create uh, text area okay so what we're gonna do here is first initialize this text area for new text area uh, yeah Oh, uh, J text area. Sorry. And uh, for now, uh, let's add this text area to this window. Window add text area. And uh, yeah, let's call this method as well from this constructor. So create text area method. Let's call it. Okay. Let's check this. Okay. So now text area is added so yeah you can type text but uh, there is there is still something that you want we want to add to this text area so right now if you type a lot of text like this then eventually text goes out of the bound of this window so when that happens we want to display a scroll bar here so you know you can scroll down or scroll up and so you can see you know all the text so to add scroll bar to this uh, text area we're gonna use a class called uh, j scroll pen and uh, so i'm gonna name this as a uh, scroll pen mm. and uh, yeah let's import this then uh, yeah so i said for now but actually we don't use this line so okay let's comment out and uh, but instead first we're going to initialize this scroll pane equal new j scroll pane and round bracket and uh, we're going to type a lot of thing inside of this round bracket so first uh, we're going to type text area and then uh, we're gonna set the condition that uh, this j scroll pane is displayed so first okay type j scroll pane dot vertical vertical okay so you know you can see these options scroll bar always has needed never so you can choose the condition so when this scroll bar scroll bar is displayed and uh, never means you know it doesn't display anything so we don't need to choose this so always or as needed so always means uh, it shows the bar always even if you haven't typed anything so I think I, I like this as needed so usually it doesn't show the bar but uh, if you type a lot of text then uh, yeah it shows, uh, shows the bar and then next we're gonna set uh, another so this time horizontal horizontal and uh, this time as well uh, we're gonna choose this as needed but if you want to show it always then you can choose uh, always and uh, so initialization is done for this scroll pane then uh, we're gonna add this scroll pane to this window so window dot at uh, scroll pane uh, okay so let's check this all right so it looks the same but uh, if you type a lot of text like this the eventually yeah this scroll bar shows up so only when it's needed so 
if you delete this text, then uh, yeah, scroll bar also uh, disappears. Uh, sorry for this a uh, little bit of a back and forth, but yeah, we don't want to use this line anymore, but uh, we're gonna use this line instead. And also, it's a small thing, but uh, there is one more line that I want to add. So maybe you can see, but there is a small gap here. So this is the uh, border of this uh, um, scroll pane. This doesn't look so nice. So, you know, we're gonna disable this border. So to do that, uh, we're gonna type like this, scroll pane and uh, set border and the bracket and here border factory dot create empty uh, border border okay and uh, import this yeah so that's it so let's check this so yeah can you see the difference so now this border is uh, gone. So I think this looks better. Okay, then next we're gonna add top menu bar on this window. 